Jaclyn Hill is starting off the new year by ridding all of her past, it seems. She's moving on from all of her businesses, and it looks like 2024 is about to be a brand new start for her, and hopefully that means drama-free. Last year, Jacqueline faced a lot of backlash for her brands as people uncovered the truth about who was the real CEO of Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. And when it wasn't her, like she had claimed for years, it just got messy. There was also drama that she faced for copying jewelry designs from others for her own company, Jacqueline Roxanne, and people were still quite upset about the name of her brand, Cozy, and the fact that the name was taken from another online creator. But now, all of the brands are done. All of them. Jacqueline has come out to confirm that Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is also closing down along with her other brands. This comes after a lot of speculation following Jaclyn's most recent video on YouTube, where she hinted at the possibility of her makeup discontinuing. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Plush Blush in Plush Pink and do two dots up towards the top of the cheekbone. I know that I created this blush and I'm gonna be sad to see it go. Okay, I'm sad to see all of it go. This is a season of change and a season of growth. And we're pulling up our big girl panties. We're doing what needs to be done. But I will say that this, I think, will forever be my favorite cream blush. The way it blurs out the skin is actually insane. Like it literally feels like a filter. There was another part in that video where it also sounded like things were coming to an end, but she hadn't said anything officially until now, so fans were pretty confused watching this. My entire face, my favorite loose powders, these are both by Jaclyn Cosmetics, my Mood Light Setting Powder and my Power Move Setting Powder. I have enough of these to keep me stocked for like the next two or three years in my back stock. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do after that because these are my favorite powders ever. So I'm just gonna take a giant brush and lightly tap. It was pretty interesting to see her kind of subtly hint that her brand would be no more. Maybe she was feeling out a reaction, but I think it just left a lot of people confused because when she addressed shutting down her jewelry line and her cozy brand, Jaclyn Cosmetics wasn't officially done yet. So people thought it might still be around. But Jacqueline took to her Instagram story on New Year's Eve to announce the news that the brand is coming to an end. She reposted a post from the cosmetics Instagram page that wrote, 2023 has come to an end and it's truly been a transformational year for me. The joy you're seeing in me is real. However, the road to get here has come with a lot of tough realities and decisions I have had to make as well. With that being said, I have decided to close the doors on Jacqueline Cosmetics for the foreseeable future. There has been plenty of talk, but what I will say is that the brand has been such an important chapter in my book and one I will always cherish, but am ready to close. First, I want to thank each and every one of you for the support and love you have shown me and this brand. You let this girl dream and that's what I did. I still have those dreams, but to properly pursue them, I am going to need time and patience to do so. I also want to thank Ulta for continuing to believe in me, supporting my brand and future endeavors. I don't take that lightly. To make it very clear, I am so excited for the future. I am in the best mental and physical health I've ever been in. I have an unbelievable support system through all of you and my family. I am finally feeling like myself again. I am incredibly grateful to be where I am in life and I can't wait to continue to grow in all aspects of it. Thank you so much and I wish you and your loved ones a healthy, happy, and blessed 2024. XO Jacqueline. The post did get her a lot of backlash though, as people were calling out the part where she said it was her decision to close the doors on Jaclyn Cosmetics. With the news of Forma filing for bankruptcy and Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics falling into that, it was revealed that she was not a CEO. And so people were just calling out the fact that they felt like this wasn't actually her decision to close the doors. I will say that I don't know how something like this would truly go down if Jacqueline was maybe offered the opportunity to take it over or keep it open and she didn't want to or if the bankruptcy really just tanked the whole company and she just doesn't want to say that in an Instagram post. But either way, with the way that she has not addressed the bankruptcy or the fact that she wasn't the CEO that she tried to say that she was, people were surely coming for her in the comment section of this post, writing, you're still being dishonest even with the closing down of this brand. This is why people have such a hard time trusting anything you say. Is this really your decision or is this about former brands bankruptcy? I saw this was coming and bought up multiples of my favorites. Oh, Jacqueline, I'm sorry this has happened. I really am. The thing is though, you didn't decide to end Jacqueline Cosmetics. Former brands Morphe did. We saw the official documents that you never started it, owned it, or were CEO. 
I love you, but I don't understand why you lied to all your supporters all these years. You didn't need to. Jacqueline Cosmetics would still have been a success. It's a shame this all happened. So like I said, I don't know for sure if she was given an offer or not. She hasn't come out to say anything. I don't even know if she can talk about it, but I think that she would greatly benefit from getting on camera, making a video saying, I can't legally talk about this, but I know you guys are seeing everything that's going on and it's why things are closing down. Just like a little explainer, even if she can't really say anything, I think that would be more honest than people feel like she's been. And maybe it would save her a little bit, but she does seem like she's handling this whole thing very well. I must admit that because in the posts that followed all of this, they were all seemingly really positive. She did share that all the products would be 50% off at Ulta, and then she followed that up by posting a video of herself sort of celebrating or at least doing a happy dance in her room. And it was right after she posted that Jaclyn Cosmetics statement so I just feel like Jacqueline is probably feeling a sense of relief about all of this. I think that most of last year was her dealing with the fact that this was all coming out, this information, the form of bankruptcy, everything. And now that this is done and she's posted that it's coming to an end, she's probably relieved. Like I'm sure people would probably think that it's weird that she's celebrating because the ending of a brand is sad and it's something that she said that was her dream and something she's always wanted. But at this point, it's probably just a relief to have the drama behind her. There's been just so much of it over the years with Jacqueline and some of the issues and things certainly could have been avoided. But I think with all of her brands, each one was tainted in a way. Either it was started because something happened with the last business venture and she needed something fresh and new or like with cozy it was doomed from the start with the drama of taking the name and never changing it and with that one specifically i think it could have been way more of a success if she had just agreed to change the name of her cozy brand but because she doubled down and kept the name it left people with a bad taste and then i think she probably had a bad taste about the brand because it just was surrounded by drama so it's probably just so relieving to know that these dramatic chapters are behind her and i think a lot of people are hoping that she's taking all the criticism from everything with her learning and growing from it all but i guess we'll just have to see i mean who knows if she will end up starting a new cosmetics brand of sorts it has always been her dream after all but she has said at the same time that being a brand owner is just not for her it's not something that she actually enjoys and with morphe not really being around for influencers to collaborate with like they once did who knows what will happen in the future but it does sound like from her post that she does plan on doing something. I mean, it really does read that way when she's talking about, you know, she wants to thank Ulta for continuing to believe in her, supporting her brand and future endeavors. So it makes me think like maybe she'll come out with another brand. Maybe this time she won't use her name. Who knows? Hopefully it's not a stolen name, but it does sound like maybe something in the future will be in the works. It is all just so interesting because the beauty influencer space is certainly much different now than what it used to be. Before, everyone used to follow such a pattern of making videos, probably collab with Morphe, create your own brand, and then keep that up and keep it rolling. And now we're seeing sort of this new era that we're entering where maybe brands are closing and influencers are evolving and Jacqueline is entering this new phase where she can kind of just start over and maybe she'll take the opportunity and really run with it. I think it might just be the best thing for her because so much has really happened and with the opportunity to start fresh, she might just impress some people who have maybe lost faith a bit, but who knows? I'm sure there's people that doubt and and are still upset about things that have happened with her other brands and you know aren't really sure how she could handle a new one but maybe she's learned I don't know but people were sad hearing that the brand was coming to an end though I will say that as much as people were calling her out there were just as many people saying that they were sad because they do love the products that she has so there's clearly still a demand for the things that she creates so the future seems possibly open for her. But that is what Jacqueline had to say about Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics. I certainly want to know what you guys think about all that has gone down with this brand. And if you think this was a decision on her end to close it down, let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.